Namaste Collective. So this is just a daily read for my collective. Um, just need some <laughs> cue cards here. And along with the cue cards, I'm going to be using um, my dice, okay? So... Um, okay, so um, green in uh, six, and we've got five in red, or red in five. Okay, <laughs> red, five, green, six. Okay, um, so there's gonna be a transformation in, in you know, or a transitioning of your thoughts. Uh, let me just say a change of thought, a change in your thought process. Um, you know, for the better, I'm getting, you know, a more positive, you know, sunshiny day kind of um, mentality, okay? I'm getting strong, you know, um, sun in Virgo frequency, a, you know, time for transition, okay, in other words. Um... Some of you could definitely have Virgo highly aspected, but not necessarily. Um, what else am I getting? Five in green, six. Five in, in red, six in green. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting strong Leo frequency there. Um... And, you know, this could be, you know, as a result of something tangible manifesting. Yeah, something that you've been, ex you've been you know, wishing for. I'm not going to say anticipate. Um, it, it, it's rather something you've been wishing for. Uh, because there wasn't an, any evidence of, you know, of this, you know, blessing coming in. You basically, I feel like, something that you put out into the universe and you asked for. You know, you ask, Abba Father, I, I need this, I want this. And I trust and believe that I will get it. And it's coming, okay? And this is going to, you know, um, uplift your mood, cause a transition. I feel like your thoughts have already begun to transition in. Uh, you know, you've already, you know, you know there was al already, you know, a spark of hope um, that you allowed to enter your body. And um, that spark of hope, this reminds me of one of them love readings that I did prior to, um, not the last three set of readings prior to this video, and not the set before them last three uh, readings. There are some love readings that I did prior to the set of readings that I did for um, uh, July, August, September, and October. Those are astrological predictions and intuitive. Those are channeling messages. Uh, astrologically based with you know um, uh, clear sentience and clear audience um, uh, information submerged submerged but the set of readings prior to them uh, the love readings that I, I think those were love readings that I did um, for the individual elements earth water fire and air uh, there was this particular reading, I don't remember if it was for water or if it was for um, one of them elements where in which, you know, someone, someone was being, I feel like I'm speaking to the same group of people or the same person, where in which someone, you know, someone's, you know, manifestation is tied to, you know, their hope. Yeah, so you got to allow hope to enter your being it's like prana allowing prana believing that pranas are real okay and you know allowing them to i've seen them i've always been seeing pranas as i spoke about them i think maybe on my fenny kusujo so instagram or this instagram but you know i've always been seeing these you know luminous little specks of you know almost invisible uh light energy particles or beans and you know i always thought well, what's in my eye <laughs> but you know i realized i was seeing something that was just very 
you know, transcending, you know, transcendence, or I should say, um, and something that's very, you know, um, of a higher dimension. And, you know, I came to realize that they're called pranas. But it's along that, like, I think Ralph Smart, yeah, that's his name, would say good ass prana baby allow that good ass prana them good ass pranas to enter your being okay by allowing yourself to be hopeful and opening up and believing that they exist whether or not you've ever seen these particles these energy particles and just allow them to you know um you know uh saturate your entire mind your entire soul your spirit and your body you know overflowing into the physical body and that is hope yeah their hope pranas their hope believing in the supernatural believing in what you know this physical realm considers not real because they're not phys they're not visible to the human eye it's only they're only visible to those who are you know enlightened and awakened awoke yeah and once you, you you find yourself you know uh transcending to higher frequencies you are going to be seeing them good as bronze baby okay so um yes that's basically what i'm getting also time for support time for help it still ties into the previous interpretation of these you know uh uh, numbers that's numerology of five and six connecting them to astrology so it's time for help time for support because Virgo it's that helpful zodiacal frequency yeah time for blessings time for support time for help yeah I'm hearing also clear audiently. I'm actually hearing, you know, a change in passion. Some of you are going to be changing, you know, your passions. Not saying that the things you were passionate about, these messages are being are channeled messages now. I'm not saying the things that you were once passionate about, you are no longer going to be passionate about them. I think I got that message for Leo's on my TikTok. If you can follow me on TikTok, it's Queen CIO. Uh, that's the account that I posted them to, but I have an in, uh, a TikTok account for my Sky Goddess Infinity. I believe it is Sky Goddess Infinity uh, or Sky Goddess Infinity Inc. I'm not sure, but you go and check me out on TikTok. I don't have anything posted to my Sky Goddess account as yet. Um, I don't know why it is that I posted my astrological readings to my music account, but I did. Uh, so go and check out my It's Queen CIO on tick tick tock and see you know there were just some uh some of the zodiacal frequencies that i uh did you know some um uh astrological pre predictions for for the month of august not all of them but go and you know listen to the ones that i did post uh because uh for leo i did get for specifically i believe the frequency of leo i'm not sure um if there are any other frequencies that i got that you know prediction for that their passions were going to be transformed okay or there's going to be a change for you know change in you know in regards to their passions okay so I'm also getting that message clear um, audiently and clear sentiently uh, that, um, you know, some of you are going to, your passions are going to be transformed. But not saying that the things you are passionate about are going to change, but rather, um, you know, it's just pretty much you transcending, you know. Every day is not the same. We're not the same every day or, you know, every week or every month or every year. And we're not supposed to, right? Uh, trans uh, improving is transforming is changing okay now when you find that you are constantly in a same or similar frequency in the same place the same frequency uh, nothing new coming in then you know that's stagnancy and that's not normal okay because change is the only thing that's constant and therefore there's no such thing as normality but change itself is normality okay if you get what I mean so we got DS attorney, something coming to an end, okay? That's no Capricorn frequency, a cycle closing, okay? Saturn, ooh, 
look at that and then we got saturn let me see i feel like i need to let this that are uh being you know okay. so we got the is attorney i want you guys to see these are my cue cards the is attorney okay and then we've got saturn because like it blue cards fell okay and um saturn was at the top so that's a confirmation there a saturn Saturn cycle has come to an end. Okay. And you know what I saw water a while ago. Uh okay. We got Emperor. New beginning. That's Aries frequency. So I saw water um at the bottom of the deck a while ago. And there's now job at the bottom of it. Now this could be in regards to an intuitive job. Uh, or not necessarily an intuitive job. It could be, you know, uh, for some of you, I'm getting a change to your intuitive job. Some of you are going to be uh, no longer reading for, you know, the public, but for a specific person or a specific group of people because you've proven yourself to be uh, uh, worthy, trustworthy, accurate, profound, right? And we've got the emperor professional as well we've got the emperor new beginning so you are in that emperor frequency you are you know trustworthy like i was just saying so i was just speaking clear audiently and clear sentiently but here's the card to confirm it right so this yeah and there's a job at the bottom of the deck and i saw um hold on i saw water now this could be you know for someone specifically in the intuitive you know industry or you know this could be music where you're you know you, you you're called to pull on your emotions okay so you could be also a songwriter a writer of your own songs okay so you're you got that strong emotional connect connectivity to your music okay so okay this could be a new job coming in for some of you all right, I'm not gonna pull that card. It was just at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so yeah, so this could be also something that you've been wishing for. Hmm. This is so strange. I'm I'm gonna tie, but you know, there's this. You know, I don't know. You know, the connectivity uh between STD. Now you know. I'm not going to question spirit here because spirit knows best. Okay. All right. This could be also with the emperor and the STD. Someone here is aware that someone has a STD. Okay. Because that's Aries. Aries emperor. Aries is the emperor ruled by ruling the head, which, you know, you know, contains the brain, the central nervous system. So, you know, the head of the central nervous system, I should say, because our spinal cards are a part of that. Um, it's a part of that system, Sila. So someone here knows something. Also, I'm getting for a group of you that someone passed away from a STD and someone here knows. Someone is aware that someone, you know, with this DS attorney, something coming to an end. Someone passed away from the STD. Okay, here we got lesson coming up. I don't know what this lesson is about. Okay, it could be, you know, in regards to trusting one's intuition. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely could be. I we got sex in reverse, so okay. So, someone who could be coming towards you, can you guys see? Might have had sex with this person. We got family, family now. This could have been a family member of yours, or um, what is this? You know, some someone is you know, experiencing experiencing a form of disaster personal disaster this is not you this is the energy that you know is coming towards you okay so you know someone they've got an std here you 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 it's a lesson for you in terms of trusting your intuition um i don't know i don't want to say this is incest that someone had sex with a family member and caught this std because i did get that from one of them you know readings that i did prior to the three uh, prior to this one, if you guys can catch on to what I'm trying to say, um, in the group of readings that I did for July, August, September, October, and I might have added, you know, um, November, I'm not sure, but yeah, you know, incest is real. There are people who do have sex with family members, you know, 
Um, but, you know, this is disastrous for someone here. Or this could be, you know, that someone had sex with someone's, you know, family member and contracted this STD. Okay. Uh, travel. So you traveled away from a disastrous situation here. I'm seeing where you escaped a disaster. That's what I'm getting because that came out upright. Okay, now someone wants to support you. Okay, you could have warned someone about someone here that someone's got a, uh, some STD or something. It's now proven that you are correct. What did I say, you know, at the beginning, you know? So someone wants to give you justice here with the lawyer in reverse. They want to plead your cause. They want to give you justice because they, they got to confess, okay? Can you guys see? They got to confess that, that you were right, okay? All right, so what did I say initially? So this could be a job coming in for you, okay? Uh, a new Saturn cycle of you also being the emperor, you know, trustworthy, you know? You know, I feel like someone here can tell when people are sick. Yeah, I feel like you can basically see and tell when someone, they've got some sickness, whether it's some STD or something. So, you know, I feel like, you know, definitely this is someone who's highly intuitive, like I said, with the water frequency and, and so on and so forth and the job, you know, um, and the lesson, you know, frequency that came up, you know, uh, there's a fly on the wall <laughs> uh, with a lesson frequency that came up, you know, you trusted your intuition and the travel, you left a certain situation before you know, um, it could have, you know, before it turned disastrous. That is just like, ooh, on the night travel, that's a confirmation, ace of cups. Okay, you were, you were probably sore, sorry, or, or sad, or, you know, uh, about, you know, about the, the situation, but, you know, you're, you're learning now that you, you did the right thing. did the right thing you could have been sad for some time with that ace of cups now the jobs finally came out the job finally came out so i'm gonna i'm gonna put, put this into the group of cards okay job okay so you know someone was you know you were confused smokes and mirror okay smokes and mirror someone was trying to confuse you and trying to beguile you okay uh, but you are going to get a job here. Uh, Queen of Cups, support. Okay, you are going to live a life of support, uh, a life of comfort, comfortability. You are going to be well taken care of. Also, I'm getting, you know, someone, you know, okay, we got the lie. Someone lied. Okay, so you could have asked this person if they had, you know, some STD or something. Okay, now you see the pale horse that was just about to say someone, you know, might, uh, might have died. Okay, from, from the virus because of the Queen of Cups. It, you know, kind of came out, you know, in, uh, in reverse, but it was kind of halfway. So I just read both sides of it. Now someone could have died. Okay, and now, you know, you are going to inherit some form of, you know, support as a result of that. But someone was a liar, whether it's this person that, you know, the person that you were dealing with was dealing with, or the person that you were dealing with was a liar. Now, you could have asked this person if they had some STD. We bought the pale horse. So this is a transition, you know, like I was saying earlier, you know, you know, moving from uh, one, you know, uh, you know, state of being, you know, to another state of of being this can also be physical death but of course this can be you know a change to your finance finances okay, okay pill horse and you know we are under the pill horse frequency for this 12 year cycle the ace of cups eventually came out and it came out in reverse now this could be someone is very passionate about you and it's that queen of cups they want you to be in that queen of cups frequency because you are very intuitive gifted and profound Okay, and they got a crash on you. 
Now, I you know for some of you, this is a new person who you might have warned about a particular situation or this is an ex coming back around who you warned about a particular person, okay, who you, or, you know, who's very remorseful now for lying to you or, you know, haven't realized you were accurate, you know, varies for each of you. They are coming back around. And this is going to create the pale horse in your life, pale horse frequency, which is a transition. You're going to transition to that queen of cups, which is, you know, you know, being, living that in that life of comfort. And there we've got empress at the bottom of the deck. Now, someone could be wanting to propose to you, marry you, okay? As well as, you know, it's also being in comfort. The empress, you know, living, you know, a life of ease and comfort comfortability uh being contented it would you know in you know in your situation because it is it is it, it is a situation to 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 be grateful for you know it is it is you know comfort as well as you know um this is you getting justice that's liver frequency you get injustice you feeling you know um uh you know justified okay Okay, you are someone's lover here. Okay, you are someone's lover. Yeah, you're someone's summer. There's their sunshine. Okay, their harvest. They they see you know an abundant life with you. All right, I'm gonna pull you know a few more and then I'm gonna close it off there. So, uh, we can expect to see these energies play out within you know the next. I'm gonna say. Uh, let me see six hours i'm hearing two not necessarily six hours okay uh, this can happen manifest within the next you know six hours through two okay listen through two the next six days next six weeks for some of you and even to the next six months okay so it all varies okay depends on where you are in your journey okay for some, it's going to be, you know, someone is on parole, someone is free here, okay? Someone may have been bound to a person or a situation here, and they're free. They're free to leave. That, that, that's that night frequency, cancer frequency, travel, okay? They're free. Now, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Neptune, okay? Or, you know, someone born in the year of the pig. Or someone who's got Pisces highly aspected. Okay. Yeah. Now you could have lived with this person. But, you know. So now someone died definitely. Someone transitioned Pluto. Or there's this person you warned this person about. Or this person. Okay. You were with. You know. And I feel like this person died suddenly. You know. Uh, they might have died in their home. At their house. But I also feel like some of you uh might have lived with this person okay or this person suddenly wants you to live with them let me just say that they desire you to suddenly live with them now this is definitely someone who's got pisces highly aspected okay uh and they because they want to marry you now someone wants to marry you okay but they want to marry you because someone is dead now this could have been someone they were married to and they lied to you that they were not married uh, but, you know, it's that, you know, maybe this person was just loyal to this person, okay? Now, someone could have died from a drug overdose, okay? They be, they could have had this virus, this spouse of theirs, but, you know, um, they knew they were, they were going to die. And they, they just, I don't know, maybe the humiliation or maybe, you know, they didn't want to go through the symptoms and all of that. And so they decided to take their own life. I'm getting specifically AIDS. Okay. You know, this person, their spouse might have had AIDS or something like that. And, you know, they wanted to, yeah, I'm right on that. The truth is going to, you know, come today. Yeah, that is so true. Okay. But you know, revelate. Just look at that. Um, but you know, um, we got night again. Because there's some of the cards that are doubled. We got night again. I just got to show you guys this confirmation. Night turning day, the truth is being revealed. You know, some of us imprisoned. I feel like, just like I was about to say, someone might have been married to this person. And you know, um, they 
you know, they were, that's why they were kind of wishy-washy where you were concerned. You know, they, they didn't want to, you know, turn their back on this person. You know, you know, revelation, you know, being revealed, you know, they didn't want to turn their back on this person. And they, they were pretty much by this person's side until they died, you know. This person that they were married to might have had, you know, might, might, you know, they probably were, you know, deranged, okay, because of the symptoms of the, you know, the STD. They might have also suffered from PTSD. And this person, you know, and, you know, also depression I'm getting. And this person, they, they just, you know, felt really sorry for them. The funny thing is I'm getting also that this person might have been the one to have given this person the STD. But it happens that way sometimes that we all have different immune systems. Sometimes the person who, who, who first contracts the STD, they sometimes outlive the people who they pass it on to. That's, that's just how it goes sometimes because everyone's immune system is different. Now, this person might have felt guilty for giving this person the STD and they didn't want to just abandon them your 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 natal aspects have a lot to do with that as well you know you know your you know your tenacity and your your your, your endurance and your 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 strength you know has a lot to do with that and so this person you know they felt guilty as well as also maybe the, their spouse was bribing them you know um you know um Maybe that's why you had to leave the situation, you know, maybe this person pushed you out of that situation because they were being bribed, you know, that, you know, they, their spouse, yeah, their spouse was a foe, you know, they were being bribed, yeah, because this person, they loved you, they were in love with you, and they were being bribed, you know, to, you know, leave you alone, or, you know, their spouse was going to tell you, tell you that they've got, you know, that, you know, virus you know, they were going to confirm, but I feel like you already knew because you're very intuitive. You feel like you wish this person was honest with you, you know, um, Mars. Okay. So because you, they were in love with you, it was a conflict. It was a conflict of interest. And so, you know, um, but because of all that, what you went through, you are going to be blessed at Jupiter frequency. This person is very passionate about you. Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. And that's why you're going to get the Ace of, Ace of Pentacles, yeah? You're going to get this Ace of Pentacles, financial support. They might have cut you off, but it's coming back around. Reconnection. So this is definitely an X for a lot of you. Reconnection here. All right? So they were being bribed. Now the person is dead. Um, and, you know, I feel like this person now, they're free. Like, I think I, I didn't see exactly the word free. I have that card. I do have that cute card, but... There are other words that, you know, denotes or, or you know, the other words that I, I should say that, uh, you know, uh, gives off that same, same impression of freedom, of, you know, being, you know, released from something that was bound, that, that was, you know, um, binding them or was a form of bondage or something, okay? So I'm getting there's going to be a lot of cash flow coming in, lottery, okay? A lot of money and support is going to come in viral, okay? Viral, okay? Because, you know, um, this person, they're going to now give you your, you know, their all because, you know, um, yeah, because, you know, a, you know, a situation coming to an end. Now, they do have this ailment, you know, but like I was saying, you know, love is love, um, you know, um, You know, I feel like, you know, food, this person is going to probably communicate to you with this communication and food frequency. They're going to take food to you or they're going to give you money to buy food. Uh, you might be, you know, really in need of that financial support. Now, this is going to be music to your ears. I'm going to just leave it there because if I go on and on, I'm just like going to, ah! Because everything just connects, you know, even if I go through the entire, you know, frequencies. And we got fire again. I feel strongly Leo frequency fire. I just keep going. Wheel of Fortune, it is now time. So for some of you, definitely this is before six months. Someone is dead. The funeral came out in reverse, okay? Someone is dead, okay? All right. Now, some of you could be in the public celebrity, okay? Star, or you could be dealing with a celebrity or, or a star, or you could be a celebrity.
celebrity or a star or you know a starving artist a rising star and you know uh you were with this person in this toxic situation queen of wands okay queen of wands okay leo frequency again time and i also got the music so definitely you could you know be involved in, in, in you know you could be you know a singer songwriter very you know you write your own songs and you know there's a very emotional connectivity there um you know um gossip gossip now you know people could be gossiping about you okay or this person okay there's going to be a letter that's going to come to you okay it's going to be a letter from this person you are oblivious about this letter that's coming into you but you are free here finally we got the free the free cue card okay okay free from a curse okay you are free from a curse okay now this person's spouse might have put an a, a hex on you i'm getting from some of you maybe this too is one of the reason why you know um this person you know um um pushed you out of a certain situation because um their spouse was trying to hex you to kill you because they were passionately and deeply in love with you but you know um oh, this is a lot coming in from one message yeah but you know um you're free from that curse because i feel like their spouse died and you know that you know you know automatically subconsciously free you from the curse yeah because their spouse is now dead um um i'm also getting for some of you you know the whole celebrity situation is different from uh what you're dealing with this love interest this you know reconnection uh situation i feel like for some of you um you know you you are definitely intuitive in some sense or you could only gossip uh blog or something and you could have you know predicted that you know something in regards to a particular celebrity dying um or a celebrity having some std or something this could have been something that you suspected or you know um but you are going to get the confirmation uh you know within the time frame that i mentioned you know six hours six days six weeks six months there's going to be a confirmation in regards to this reading yeah there's going to be a confirmation or your suspicions okay it's going to be confirmed tying to this reading um, in regards to that celebrity okay as well as for some of you this is a music contract all right so i'm gonna leave it right there uh for you know for some of you it is as i said you know it is just this particular situation where in which you know um you 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 are you know a musician you are a musician you are a musician and you know you're dealing with this married person who you know whose spouse had you know you know who, who, who whose spouse for some of you they might have not had um have the virus or had the virus just their spouse you know for some they also have the virus and for some they're the one who gave their spouse the virus and their spouse is now dead has passed away and you know you know they see how accurate and intuitive you are because you just automatically summed up the entire situation and knew what was going on just by your gifts by using your gifts and your talents and your abilities that you are blessed with that you are innately you know that you innately possess and this person they are just you know in love with you for some of you i did see drug there you know this you are like a drug for this person okay you know for some of you you are so so you know um powerful your energy your aura your energies, your aura, your frequencies, your frequencies are so intense and powerful that you're like a drug to this person. Um, but like for some, you know, this person, their spouse might have OD'd, overdosed on drugs because they wanted to escape um, a life of further shame in regards to the virus, okay? So um, I'm going to leave it there. You know, a lot of messages, and I feel like, you know, this message, you know, spreads throughout a, uh, a, a 
beautiful collective of people, you know, a good amount of people, okay? Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Namaste.